I was supposed to do um, yesterday, last night, as continuing of my series for the month of August. Um, my rules don't appear on no stamp, and I apologize for that for people who was waiting for that. But today I'm gonna make it up, and I'm gonna do a double whammy with the makeup for one for yesterday, and I'm gonna add on today's on with that. And the two people who basically may had there's a lot of people that had a major influence. Everybody who I listed have a major influence. You know, but th these two definitely, when it comes down to like economics and you know, and the pan Africanism movement and stuff like that, and as far as dealing like with racism and white supremacy, I couldn't pick no better two um, if people that influenced me better than anybody. Now, to probably to the millennials, y'all probably don't know who this is. This is Dr. Amos Wilson. Dr. Amos Wilson had been very, mostly influential um, back in the 90s and stuff when I was like in my mid, late 20s and stuff. Um, you know, and one of the books that I bought from him, he's a he's a psychiatrist way before uh, y'all know Dr. Umar Johnson. And I believe Umar Johnson probably, probably um, learned from him too. Uh, when he when he was around that age, because Umar's like in his forties, early forties, so yeah, so I'm assuming that. <coughs> Sorry, yeah. Um, one of the books that I bought f from him because not only he's a psychiatrist, but he's a scholar when it comes to Pan Africanism, uh, psychological studies, and and, and so like that. Um, Amos Wilson was born. In uh, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, you know, and I, I find that real ironic that that the ones with the most acute sense of of self awareness, self consciousness, are mostly ones that's either from the country, from the South, or they was raised in the country. Think about it. Um, Noble Drew Ali was born in North Carolina in the South. The prophet came from the South. Uh, Brother Malcolm was born in Omaha, Nebraska. The elder, the great, the late great Muhammad Ali, born in Louisville, Kentucky. You know, one of my other master teachers, Bobby Hemmett, from South Carolina. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just, it's, it's something, you know. And so, I, I, I just wanted to go ahead and I wanted to point that out. But one of the books, he's written a lot of books too as well. One of, one of the favorite books that I did bought is, um, it's a, I think it's a dictionary, almost as thick. the blueprint for black power you know ain't yeah that book there that's like if you got an arsenal in your library that book alone is like a howitzer it's like having a howitzer cannon because I'm, I'm i'm telling you like this because amos wilson amos wilson man he put some, a lot of stuff together. And there's other people out there that try to get out there and try to discredit this brother. But they, they really um, uh, couldn't do it. Let me see something one second. But I'm gonna leave. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave a link in the description, though, for everything y'all need to know. For people that don't know, I mean, I know enough about them. If you buy the book Blueprint for Black Power, they got it on sale there on Amazon there too. And I think not just Amazon, but um, I'm gonna leave a link for both there and WeBuyBlack.com. They also have it there too. It's about time, you know. That is our version of Amazon. You can find everything you want there. Which brings me. 
to another I, I, I can't say master teacher but also very influential and he opened up opened up my eyes up to a, a whole new level too I don't need to tell y'all who this who this elder is right here Amos Wilson died oh by the way for the record Amos Wilson passed away in 1995 yeah I just want 93 or 95 I just wanted to let y'all know in uh, New York City Y'all should know who this is. If you got the book by by the Empress herself, the late Dr. Francis Cress Wilson, the ISIS Papers, then you this is the man who also she learned from and was influenced by. This is Nilly Fuller Jr. Oh, he's still around. He's still alive. And see, I'm pretty sure you go on YouTube right now. Um, you could probably listen to a lot of his audio tapes um, where he's appearing on radio shows or whatever, and, and such a sorts. This man here is the man who basically broke it down to tell y'all about when they're dealing with white supremacy and racism, and letting y'all let us know as people that we at war stuff that he called back years ago 20 some years ago 30 some years ago it's happening now one of the books that that Nilly Fuller had wrote because you could, you could download a lot of the audio to audio video um, his video commentary on YouTube you could download it with the app called um, TubeMate on your on your mobile you know, I, I'll put I'll, I'll I'll try to put I'm gonna put the link up in the description for that for that app and let y'all know the book that um my my bro, my my Miami Gardens brother um Chauncey the Black Separatist y'all know him on YouTube fellow YouTuber look, go by GMOC uh, GMOC Media you know he talked about the book in one of his videos the United Independent independent compensatory code concept uh, workbook which basically tell you and do you read that book that's it that book is like it's kind of hard to find because it's been in and out of print but if you get back in print get it because it tell you how to go ahead and how to deal with racism and white white supremacy and racism especially with the white so called white supremacists in the workplace and out the workplace anywhere for that matter you know, cold words, this and that, like that. Besides, even though we are in the era of 45, and much as the fake news displays these these troglodytes as being open racist and all that, which it is, because Nilly Fuller taught me one thing, and it's a, it's an actual fact. Racism, the last three letters of that word, ism is manufactured basically man made just like sexism plagiarism um any word that's got ism in it believe it or not is like it no different than it is from Ebola HIV AIDS cancer and and West Nile virus and Zika all man made and don't be surprised that they got a patent on it. These are things that you have to look at. That's what Nilly Fuller teaches me. And I, I think I spend, I spend hours, maybe one, one or two hours, listening to his audio. And I spend like another hour or thirty minutes reading my book, The ISIS Papers, man, by Francis Cress Wilson and stuff. Who, who was influenced by Nilly Fuller. And, and that sister there, she she put it down, and she seen a lot of the stuff that was coming before before she uh, transcended, you know. In fact, people don't know this, but Francis, but she also predicted that that Trump was going to be the next president. You know, everybody think like, oh, the Simpsons had predicted this 15 years ago. Da 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 da. No, she no, they didn't. She told y'all that Trump was going to be president. You ain't got to believe me. You don't got to believe me. Research it yourself. That's what Master Teacher Steve Coakley taught me. 
Learn to be a researcher. I can give you the keys to the car. I can give you the keys. It's up to you to put it in that in the ignition and turn it on. But but these two brothers, these two elders right here, man. I mean, you know, Nilly Fuller's still around. He's he's like in his nineties right now. <coughs> Excuse me. He's waking up this morning though. But you know, like I said, you know, this is one of the things I definitely had to get out and you know, definitely get out because I want everybody to go here to follow up like on that because one of the things that Nilly Fuller broke down about the nine the nine areas in which racism and white supremacy and Amos Wilson also said the same thing when it comes down to what what the white supremacists um caught in the after and I'm gonna just go ahead and break it down to you you know what it is is labor law politics religion sex war economics economics that's where Amos Wilson come in Oh, and by the way, um, let me just go back to one second. Before Umar Johnson, but also when it came down to economics on how to survive the blueprint for black power, that book Amos Wilson wrote, he was doing that way before Dr. Boyce Watkins. No disrespect to Dr. Boyce Watkins because I listen to Boyce Watkins too. But he was doing this before Boyce Watkins even came on the scene. Just a, just a fool for thought, just to let you know. No disrespect to Boyce Watkins. Okay, the doctor, doctor Boyce Watkins. But you ask yourself, where you think he got it from? Okay, e economics, and let me continue back. Education and entertainment, which I know, you know, I've been one of the main guys on the forefront in the trenches about the whole Kaepernick thing. Um, you know, boycotting the NFL. You know. The majority of us is boycotting the NFL, man in the NFL because we want until Kaepernick gets to play in the NFL again. But but you know what? I woke up, I, I, I slept on that for so long and went to bed and woke up thinking about it. I said, you know what? Even if if, if they do uh, somebody do hire Kaepernick, which they which I doubt they won't. I mean. We ain't really accomplished nothing. We still going to be going ahead and tuned in into that racist, segregationist, um, systematic entity known as the Negro Felice League. I mean, basically, they ain't going to really get nothing accomplished. The alternative is this. You know, for, Cap for Kaepernick, he can go to the CFL and he'll start right there. And, and I guarantee you the ratings will go up. Or do like Ice Cube did. Start your own league. That's what I figured. You know. And I'm pretty sure Nilly Fuller is saying the same thing too. And if Amos Wilson, Dr. Amos Wilson was still alive, he would say the same thing. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a link in the description for Amos Wilson's books to the website rebuyblack.com which you will be able to find both of their books over there and you know but these two brothers here these were titans these are tight one is still a titan still still here the other one isn't but in spirit but let me know what y'all think um whatever questions that y'all have about these brothers i'll be glad to comment on it and let me know in the comment section don't forget to uh, to click click the bell when you subscribe, and also check out my my second channel too, uh, which I will leave a link for that one as well. So I'll be throwing some content up there. But as far as the my rules being on don't appear on the stamp series for the whole month, it will be in my original channel. So with that said, um, I'll be back. I'll see y'all back around the next time around.